Yes, welcome. There is a system of naming in chemistry. There is a system of what? Naming in chemistry. Just like if they want to name you. Normally they name you. You have first name and second name, is it not? Happiness don't matter. Is it not? I shall. Or Isa. I shall. Isa. That's a Kogi State. Igala. Or Ibira. Ibira. Yeah. So you have system of name, first name, second name, you understand? In chemistry, there is a system of naming known as IUPAC nomenclature, known as what? IUPAC nomenclature. <laughs> IUPAC. Can you see it? IU. Is it not? IUPAC nomenclature, known as what? IUPAC nomenclature. You understand? It's a system of name. That's the way they name things. They name chemical compounds. You understand? In that same way, you use IPAC nomenclature for aliphatic compounds in chemistry, in organic chemistry. Is that clear? What is this IUPAC system of nomenclature? This is the International World Union of Pure and Applied World Chemistry. I stands for what? International. U stands for what? Union. B stands for what? Pure. A stands for what? Applied. C stands for what? Chemistry. IUPAC. International Union of Pure and Applied World Chemistry. IUPAC. So it's a system of naming compounds. We have the name consists of what? A root, a suffix, and as many prefaces as necessary. Is that clear? So in IUPAC nomenclature for chemical organic chemical compounds, we have a name consisting of a word, a root. You understand? A suffix and as many prefixes as what possible or necessary. So how do you get the root? The root is derived from what? By replacing hydrogen atoms with a chi functional group or what? Multiple bonds. Which we are going to illustrate here. This is a functional group, is it not? What functional group is this? This is a carboxylic acid functional group. This one is the uh, alkanoic acid, is it not? Similar, two of them are similar. This one is what? Akai or carboxylic. This one is what? Bromate or, or bromine as a functional group, and this is iodine as a functional group. So when this carboxylic group is coming as a suffix, it's starting from, it's starting the name. Suffix is when it starts. Prefix is, uh, I mean, suffix is when it comes last. Prefix is when it starts. Beginning, prefix, beginning. Suffix, coming at the end. Exactly. So when this one is coming as a suffix, you end it with what? Carboxylic acid. But when it's coming as the prefix, you start it with what? You start with carboxy. The same thing with this, this ends with alkanoic acid. Like when you have alkanoic acid, alkanoic acid, that's the ending. This one doesn't come in suffix form. This is akai or what? Carboxylate. Now these ones, they cannot come in the end. You understand? They can only come in the beginning. You see bromo, bromo, you understand? Or iodo. Is that clear? You start it with them. You are going to demonstrate it with examples. Now, basic rules of naming organic compounds. What are the basic rules? that you use in naming organic compound. Number one is that you have to do what? Take the longest continuous carbon chain as the root hydrocarbon and name it according to the number of carbon atoms it contains. You understand? Adding the appropriate suffix and prefixes. Number two, number the carbon atoms in the root hydrocarbon from the end which will give the lowest number to the suffix and then the word prefaces. Number three, indicate the other constituents by prefaces preceded by numbers to show their positions on the carbon chain. And finally, number four, when two different archive groups are substituted to one organic compound, you have to name them with the word, alphabetically, with the one with, you understand, like if you have the word starting with E and M, the one with E will come first when there are more than one. So we are going to demonstrate these rules now. We are going to do what? Demonstrate these rules in naming an organic compound. We are going to name an organic compound. 
So I'm going to structurally indicate an organic compound and you will name it for me. Is that? Let's indicate an organic compound and let's name it. So we have C this is it not right. We have C H three bonded. Are you looking at that? Bonded to C H two bonded to C H. Are we looking at that? Bonded to another C H three and bonded down to C H. Can you look at that structure? Can you look at that? Yes, sir. So, how do you name this? Are you going to start naming from here? Are you going to name it as one, two, three, and what? Four. The first rule says take the longest chain, longest continuous chain, as the root height to carbon, and name it according to the number of what? Carbon atom. And this is all the carbon, these are the carbon atom bar. So, take the longest. Don't take this. This one is in the longest. It's short. It's, it's composed of only two. Is it not? So the rule says take the longest. This is the longest. So name this longest according to the carbon atom. So you have carbon atom one, carbon atom one, two, carbon atom one, three, carbon atom one, four. Is that clear? Name only the word longest thing. You understand? This other one is an attachment. It's a methyl group attached. Is that clear? It's a methyl group attached. So with this naming, what can you call this? It's possible that you call it 3 methyl butane. It's possible that you call it what? It's possible that you call it 3 methyl butane. This is methyl, is it not? On which one is it? Is it on the one or two or three or four? On the three. So you can call it three what? Methyl. Three methyl what? Butane. Why do you call it butane? Because it's four. Is it not one, two, three, four? Can you see that? Three methyl what? Butane. But you can also name it in another form. This is what CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, and what? CH3. Tell me another way you can name this. Obeying this first rule, you can also name the longest chain as saying this is what? One. This is what? Two. This is what? Three. This is what? Four. So if you name it like this, what is going to be the name? Is it three or two? Where is the methyl group here? Two. two. So you can now say what? Two what? Methyl. Two methyl what? One, two, three, four. Butane. Huh? So who can tell me from the remaining rules which one it should be the correct one? Is it this two methyl butane or three methyl butane? Both of them have the same. So who can tell me the one? If you look at the second rule, the second rule says number the carbon atoms in the root hydrocarbon from the end, which will give the lowest number to the suffix, and then the word prefix. So which number is this? The lower number or this one? Two is lower. So the rule says number is in such a way that it will give the lower number to this uh, suffix or prefix. So which one should be the right name for this chemical compound? Two methyl what? Two methyl what? So whenever you're giving a given a chemical compound, look at the two chemical compound. Is that clear? Check out the longest chain. Check out the what? That's what the first rule says. You understand? If you identify the longest chain, start numbering. You understand? You can number from here to here or number from here to here. But how do you know the right one to be? The one that will give the suffix or the prefix the lowest word, the lowest number. Number three say indicate the other constituent. You've already indicated the other constituent is the methyl group, is it not? Indicate the other word constituent by prefix, prefix preceded by what number to show their position. This is the number showing the position of the methyl group. Is that you know that the methyl group is on the second word, second carbon of the butane. 
Whereas this one is telling us that it's on the top cap of mine. We know this is wrong because we need one that will give the, the lowest top bar. Is that clear? And the fourth rule says when two different account groups are involved, that you should start this thing. You understand? So if you have an, another account group, this is the only one account group, Metil, added. Or well, maybe you have something like two methyl butyl, one, two, three, pentane. You understand? Two methyl butyl. So if you have another butyl added, let's say the form is a different compound, you're having something like two methyl butyl. Which one is supposed to come first? Butyl or butyl? Huh? Butyl, it can only be two butyl before methyl because but is what? Alphabetically, but is more than this one. So you put the one that is up in alphabetically, you understand? So always check this. Always check this. Always check this. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes, I think. 